What's going on everybody? So I'm back today to talk about another new release film. And this is a film that was released directly onto Netflix. And I saw a lot of buzz about this movie. And what I think is interesting about this film and some of the other films in the similar vein that have been released recently is that the reviews to these movies are incredibly polarizing. There's a ton of people who just absolutely love this and there's a ton of people who absolutely hate it. And I feel like there's not a whole lot of in between. And the movie I'm gonna be talking about about today is Do Revenge. Do Revenge is directed by Jennifer Caton Robinson. A dethroned queen bee at a posh private high school strikes a secret deal with an unassuming new student to enact revenge on one another's enemies. So there's a lot of people on Letterboxd and different places who have compared this to like Hitchcock's Strangers on a Train. And essentially the, the premise of the film is you have this young girl Drea played by Camilla Mendez and Eleanor played by Maya Hawk. And Drea's character, what happens with her is that she's dating this guy in her high school. He's super popular. She wants to go to like a prestigious school like Harvard or something. And the two of them are really close. They're getting to the end of the school year. They, they end up talking one day. Drea goes home and she ends up filming like a video of her getting naked and sending it to him and the next day it's all over school while well, she confronts him about it she ends up like punching him in the face it ends up causing all this drama she ends up losing all of her friends that she had and she feels like they're out to get her and so she decides that she wants to get at him and kind of ruin his whole life well she ends up being at this tennis practice meeting Eleanor played by Maya Hawke's character who in having conversations said that she was at camp when she was really young and she came out as a lesbian and that she didn't really care when she came out as a lesbian but the person that she came out to ended up outing her to everyone else and that it really ruined her life and so the two of them decide to get even with the other person's person that they want to get revenge on and that is simply the premise of the film this is one of those like gen z movies similarly to like bodies 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 or book smart in the past couple of years that for some reason especially when it comes to this and bodies 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 that people are heavily trying to say that these are social satires but if they are they're not really well written this is probably one of my least favorite movies of the year it was painful to watch I felt like it was not funny it was really grating all of the characters were incredibly annoying and before people in the comments or online start saying oh Nate the characters are supposed to be annoying it's satire similarly to bodies 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 yes characters can be written to be annoying and you can get the gist of the fact that they're supposed to be obnoxious while also giving them character traits that make them interesting to watch. Every character in this, including Maya Hawke's character, who you should feel sympathy for at some point during the movie, you don't because they're all so terrible to each other. And I understand that you can look at this as a larger commentary on just like wealthy liberal culture in this part of the country or what, whatever you want to look at it as, but it's just not that witty and it's not that interesting and I know being on the A24 a lot of A24 groups on Facebook and Reddit I've seen a lot of people call out people who say these types of films are dumb and say you just don't get satire and I saw a lot of people say the thing about this for due revenge this movie is not genius satire whatsoever. It's very simplistic, a story about a culture that people in our society think is really annoying, which is wealthy liberal kids who think they're better than other people, who just end up tearing each other apart. But at the end of the day, the third act of this film doesn't do anything to make that point hit home. It's essentially these two people who are absolutely horrible, and at the end of the film, they're still horrible people. Nothing really changed. It's whether or not you enjoy the humor and the way that the story plays out. And the humor in this also isn't funny. None of the jokes land. All of the actors are really bad in this, including Maya Hawke, who I really like. Her dialogue delivery in this is terrible. It's so poorly written that they say the line, do revenge, at least five times in the film, and it made me gag. Another issue that I have with this film is the portrayal of marginalized groups of people. I feel like there's something 
and this whole liberal Hollywood dynamic where it's like they're above the grade on being able to mock certain groups of people. And it's not like in a way that is like super ham-fistedly offensive, but it's like when you look at our lead character who is of a Hispanic background and the way that she's portrayed and the way that she manipulates people, it doesn't come across as very good. And even at the way they look at gay people, I had someone mention to me that word lesbian is only used one time in this entire film and it's used in a negative context. And I understand when it comes to a satirical film that that might be like just poking fun at like these are supposed to be liberal woke kids that are not living the way that they're preaching, which I totally understand, but it's so sloppily done and it just comes across as really dumb and like the filmmaker doesn't really know what they're doing. And then the other issue I have with this film is that I am sick of movies that feel like 40 year olds are writing dialogue for kids. I have a sibling who is uh, in high school right now interact with my sibling, their friend groups, like the people around, see how they interact online. Kids don't talk like this. They just don't. The line that the girl was like, wanna go watch Godard in the screening room? I'm like a huge film nerd, and at 17 years old, I would have never said something like that. Like that's just absolutely absurd, and it's stupid, and it just looks dumb. And then this fascination with like adults casting 25 year olds as high school kids, where like every five star review I read about this was like, I wanna bang my hawk so bad, and it's like, she's playing a 17 year old in this movie like it's it's just weird to me the whole thing about it is really weird and creepy and i just really thought this movie was absolute dog shit if you take away everything political if you take away the satire if you take away all of that you strip it away it's just a poorly written poorly paced film it's two hours long it's way way too long there's so much filler in this movie i thought it was really funny that they thought they were clever in the scene where like Mila mendez's character starts working at this like gardening group where there's like a locked greenhouse and it's like all oh, they're growing drugs in there and the filmmaker tries to paint it as like this big reveal that's like super surprising and it's not there's a scene where they end up like drugging the whole school and none of them go to jail or none of them get in any kind of trouble whatsoever for drugging their entire class and it just comes across as really stupid I read this really amazing letterbox review of this movie where someone made the comment of like do none of these people have parents or homework and it's it's hysterical. I, I, I thought about it in the context of my own life, which obviously I went to school in a super conservative town. Absolutely nothing like the school that's portrayed there, which the kids in schools in more liberal cities could act like this, but it just comes across as really dumb. And none of it really lands, and I was just really annoyed at the end of this film. And typically I could find one or two redeeming qualities to a movie, this movie, I have nothing positive to say. I don't have one good thing other than Muna Silk Chiffon shows up at one point, which I love that track. think it's amazing. But other than some of the songs on the soundtrack, this movie was a complete waste of two hours of my life. So have you seen Do Revenge? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. This will definitely make my worst films of the year list, probably close to number one. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.